At the moment, we're looking at the new tracks sheet, and you're going to see this sheet a lot as you work with logic. If you take a peek behind the new tracks sheet, notice how there is no tracks in our current project. Well, there are global tracks, but that's a bit different than a media track. And we'll get into those later in the training program. For now, let's create one audio track. I'll click the Create button, and here we have it, our audio track. You can also create tracks by visiting the New Tracks button right here at the top of the track header column. When I click that button, once again, the New Tracks sheet drops down from the title bar. This time, I'll create one software instrument track. Well, a couple of things have happened. First, the library has jumped out at us, and that's Logic's way of saying, hey, you've created an instrument. Now, why don't you search through the library and find a sound you'd like to play with that instrument? However, we're not going to do that just yet. Let's close the Media tab. And I'll do that just by clicking the Media button in the toolbar here. We'll look at the difference between audio tracks and audio instrument tracks in a few moments' time. For now, let's continue focusing on the process of actually creating tracks. You can also create new tracks by visiting the local track menu in the Arrange window and choosing New. And note, by the way, the key command for this is Option, Command, N. That's a handy key command to remember because you're often going to be creating new tracks when using Logic. So when I select Track New, again, I get the new track sheet and I can create this time, let's say, an audio track. So one audio track. And finally, maybe the easiest way to create new tracks is to simply double click the empty area at the bottom of the track column. Before I do this, notice I have an audio track selected right now, specifically Audio Track 2. When I double click, Audio Track 3 is created. Similarly, if I have the instrument track selected, when I double click the empty space at the bottom of the track column, a new instrument track is created. Let's do it again. And there you go, Instrument Track 3 has been created. You know what? I don't really like the grouping here, so I'm just going to move Instrument Track 1 down by just grabbing on its name with that open hand and dragging down the list. There, now I've got a nice grouping together.